Now we'd like to bring up uh, a blues legend from Macon, Georgia. Please welcome Eddie Kirkland. years ago, I met fellas back in the days when my good friend Lawson Dave was alive. I miss him very much. And uh, the fog had saved my life. I had to go to the hospital, have a head operation. They came to New Falls, New York, where I was living. and did a benefit from it. Was able to go a whole year without even worrying about bills or whatever. And I had my operation, and I've been going ever since. And I want to thank thank the Father. I love that man. It's part of the it was a great day for me. I went down to Florida and did Two numbers on that New Haven, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, we're going to start off with the good, good day. Whatever. And I know you gentlemen, in your lifetime, that saw a woman that you really wanted to love, but she wouldn't let you love her. <laughs> that happened to me a lot of times. <laughs> but anyway, that's the next song. And I just wrote a new song. That the fog had come alive again. And we gonna do that one. I just wrote it yesterday. <laughs>
Well, ladies and gentlemen, on the way out on this tour, I'm going to open up for the first job in Lansing, Michigan. Yeah, I'm going to open up for the first job in Lansing, Michigan. I was in Indiana for seven miles. Truck, meat truck. I drive the meat truck about four or five o'clock in the morning. Been living for six to five miles an hour. He went. He was out in front of my papa for about six or seven miles. And I'm driving along, six to five. I don't know what he sailed asleep or what, but bam! In the back of my car. And I had to wrestle to keep it running off a bridge. The good Lord helped me, give me strength. He wasn't ready for me to leave this wonderful world. And I appreciate that. But it really banged me up. The police begged me to go to the hospital. But this, 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 this uh, tour meant a lot to me. I've got a chance to play with the podcast again. Plus, I went to Detroit, clean off my mother's grave. I've been there three years. And it was a great thing. I told him I said I'm hate, but I got to look over because I got my instruments to think about. And I, I don't want to miss these jobs. Now because this means something to me. So this is the last job so I'm leaving tomorrow, going to the hospital. Hurt my back and my hip. And the shoulder right here right upside my head. So I'm gonna leave tomorrow about helping the Lord and go to the hospital. And I thank the Lord to let me live some more. Now I've been around a long time, y'all should know that. You heard the name of Betty Kirkland. Oh, I know I'm not rich. I guess I'm not the poorest blues singer in the world. I don't worry about it. Because whenever y'all come and I look at you, enjoy yourself, that's my million dollars right there. I'm going to go as long as I can. I got three more years, I'll be 90 years old. I'm 87 now. I'm going to try to keep going. This song, the one I was telling you about, that a man see a lady that he was going to love so bad. But she won't pay him no mind. If it happened to happen, you, young fellow, it might help one day. It helped to me. But you know what I told him? I'll tell you what I told him right here.
old. On the album called Moving On, I did about seven or eight years ago. Wonderful number. This, you know, I write all my songs. You know, I believe in love. I'm not the lovingest man in the world. You know? You know, I never drank in my life. You know, I used to smoke cigars for 10 years ago and stuff down there. No drugs, no wine, no beer, no whiskey. Lady. Lady, I love it. You know, I love a lady. You can, you can just pimp it down to one lady. Got me one good lady. That's it. Lady. Without a lady, you nobody. So, sometimes, they get tired of me. You have to ship that. Then they might want to, might come up to you and say, I want to go away for a little while. Don't stop her from going away. She might help. She might go away. You come to find out, I here ain't like at home. So I better get on back to my old man. See, I'm coming, that can happen. But this, when mine told me that, this is what I said to her. Listen, listen to me close now.
shot in the head tonight, I got shot in the head. I'm a Christmas Eve. I still played my guitar. And I went to the hospital. And I'm a tough old man. You know? <laughs> so, you know, I'm living with one eye. And I'm living with one ear. My right ear and my right eye. You know when something happens to one of your eyes, the strength, good thing, what the strength go from one the bad over to this eye here, here. I can see how to drive, good, you know. I want to trouble I have. I have to set my mirror a little bit this way where I can see somebody coming on that side with this eye. I have to live with it. That's our, our lunch, you know. I've been out here on this road 75 years of my life playing gigs. Oh, I have to go to school. <laughs> I played and they, you know, did all right for myself. I took care of myself. I got there 12 years old. I never did it. Took nothing from nobody. I let my hand, I never let my hand stick to nothing. That's the best way to live my life. And I made it up to now, ladies and gentlemen. So, I mean, I'm living with one ear one eye. But if, if that eye goes, this year go, then I still will be alive. I still try to live. But I have to feel my way, but I'll be there. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Let's show Eddie some more love than that, ladies and gentlemen. This is New York City. Come on now. Beautiful end. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks for the Christmas present early.